Now that you found out what properties your monitor and your PC have, we need to adjust the game accordingly, don't we? You click on Options, click on Graphics, and here are some things I will explain to you. First of all, always select full screen, because full screen will lead to your PC focusing on the game, prioritizing the game, which will lead to a better performance in the game. Choose the right resolution, the resolution of your desktop monitor, or display or screen, however you want to call it. Choose the right resolution. Um, um, quick note about graphics. Depending on how strong <laughs> your hardware is, your PC is, um, you might need to switch to medium or low. Never use these. These two variants um, led to weird slow-mo effects and tearing during my gameplay. Use these which allow vertical synchronization. I will explain what vertical synchronization is in a second. If you still have problems with lower settings, mm, switch the post-processing quality to low. This should help. Cloth simulation is something you can toggle on or off. It's just personal taste actually. This is something that should always be ticked on to avoid the slow-mo effect. Mm. What is this? Although they talk about physics here, it's not actually about physics, but this is the vertical synchronization. Vertical synchronization means um, the following. When you install and play a game on your PC, the game sends visual data to your graphics card in the PC, and the graphic card then sends this process data as actual pixels to your monitor, as actual small glowing dots. So what we see here are actually just um, several thousand of small glowing dots that result in a picture. And your graphics are dusties. Um, the monitor only copies what the graphic card sends to him, and he does this at a rate. In my case, it's 60 Hz. So I want to synchronize the information the game sends to the graphic cards also at these 60 Hz, which means or results in 60 frames per second that are ideal for my graphic card and this monitor that represents what the graphic card sends to him accordingly. Got it? So, um, in simpler words, this monitor wants my graphic card to send him data at 60 frames per second because he repeats or copies or translates this data at a rate of 60 Hertz. So he wants 60 frames per second as a result. So we want to synchronize this visual data at 60 frames per second in my case. Here it is also explain to you what not using the right settings will do to your game. Oh, and don't forget to apply the changes. <laughs> Goodbye.